Hi, welcome to this Arctic Linux 1907 PC. The topic of this video is gonna be Arch Linux. It's time I download again the Arch Linux ISO and have a look and install everything in VirtualBox. See if the guide I've made online is still okay. So Arch Linux ISO downloads probably gonna give me my hit. This is the download button up here. We have a torrent link down here, but there is also HTTP things. And yes, I'm living in Belgium, but no, it's not the fastest server at all. But why not just do it with a torrent? Then you'll see our uh, own application that we use. Qbit torrent is a file sharing application, you agree. Downloads Think, I think downloads would be okay. Remember last use, never show again. Okay, and off we go. So this is a nice themed and tweaked and beautiful little torrent. And we are already downloading at a super speed. It's almost done already. So thanks to Telenet, the guys who are living in Belgium. I am with my Telenet provider, which gives us the extra boost even. So it's already there then we're gonna delete this thing I said don't don't say also delete the files we need a file click here it's not closed it's still here QB exit and now it's closed what do I need more I'm gonna need my tutorial arclinuxd.com there are phases learning phases phases one two three four five and phase five is actually going away from arch linux and going to a vanilla installation the arch way as we say it arch way installation i'm gonna choose this this time for a bias installation i could go for ufi what's the difference when you pop in your usb because we're gonna uh, well do it in virtual box of course to record it but when you burn it with usb like this USB image writer you pop in a USB you say the download is here one moment so we here we are we have the image you open up the image you say put in a USB burn it and done so that's when you do it on a, a real metal okay what else the question is often Eric how do I know if it's a bias or USB it's simple if it's graphical and it's beautiful like this, you have a grub system. You have to follow this tutorial. You have to follow Archway Bias if it looks awesome. If it looks ugly, it's gonna be like this. And then you know we have a UFI. So this is the UFI screen you get. Then you have a newer motherboard that understands UFI. Okay, so either one of them. One of, it's, it's almost similar, but these, this is the difference between these two guys. And then phase two and three is similar. It's the same for both of them. Okay, so phase one it is. I'm gonna move this guy over to the right so you don't see me uh, scrolling and all that. Super F7, we open up our virtual box manager. I have a template ready. It's it's themed and tweaked. I just say add template and it's, it's there. It has the half of the memory half of the processors, half of the video memory, VBOX, VGA, and nothing in optical drive. So, clone it. This is Arch Linux. Next clone. And we have something totally empty. Optical drive, choose the image. And we have downloaded something somewhere in here. And we boot up. Oh, wrong screen, of course. So move it over here. This guy, I think this is the trick and then control F. Yep, it stays on screen one. So this is definitely graphical, definitely beautiful logo, beautiful colors. So I have a bias, okay? So boot existing OS, there is nothing to boot from, so it won't work. So let's do a boot Arch Linux. This is, by the way, the way to fix your computer. Understand that if it's um, still a little bit too difficult, 
that you say I'll do a clean install and be done with it and after 15 minutes you're up and running but let me see if I can find it one of the things that is super super interesting that is um, all these things are interesting but there are some fixes maybe it's in here fix your Arco Linux or Arch Linux computer with these two tips is definitely one of them and this is the one I wanted to that had on my mind it's called arch change root so you have to you you can be you can always try to fix a hard disk SSD whatever you can always fix it your arch Linux system or Arco Linux or Manjaro whatever it's all arch Linux and it's well I believe that we put some link in here I think these are the links basically yeah that's those are the links uh, but here I explain to you how easy it is if you have a broken system and I did break my system everybody breaks its system it only depends how much time do you want to put in to to learn new stuff and you can actually boot it up with this this application with this USB that, that we now have this thing this thing we see here we can actually do an arch change route and go into inside the hard disk fix the things we've done right so sudo pacman minus r for instance remove something that we've done all right that's that we can always fix a computer all right that's the message back to my guides so we are going to follow this guy phase one bias moving back to the right and this one back up control f and then boot from a usb blah 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 i'm scrolling over set the keyboard layout that's maybe something important um, that has to be correct right typing is is otherwise gonna be difficult so you can find it i don't think i've exp explained it you have this command that it says but again i've already problems i wonder if i can do this no i can't let me just type in my own stuff so i can type quickly load keys be latin one that's gonna make my life easy this is my azerty keyboard right but if you don't know what it is and once you know it's it's done you're 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 good to go but if you don't know this is the very first time ever user share your keyboards key maps inside here give me everything that's a file and show me page per page so here you can have a wild guess or you google of course and you go and have a look what it might be that you need okay so i know my thing be latin one scrolling down verify the boot mode don't need to verify it i know it's not uh, EFI at scrub we've seen the image it's clearly um, for me and then we're gonna ping if you want to ping why not ping it's always fun to ping a little bit this is my internet service provider ISP control C yep he's up and running so I have internet I can download stuff scrolling on update the system clock that's actually the first thing i have to do let's um, check yeah that's really the very first thing i have to do all the rest was just well besides the keyboard time date set ntp is true that's done we scroll through partition the disks all right so fdisk nothing in here let's ask for a list so nothing is really there is a disk of course but there's nothing actually formatted or partitions or anything really so it's still an empty thing like it came out of the closet from a shop or something so let's do something here then we start CF disk. They say, let me go in here. You have to click here, click here, click here, click there, and then it's gone. 
strange right c f disk now this this image this this thing is important because sometimes you you reuse hard disks and a gpt is not the same as a dos file a gpt is for efi stuff so that's for the newer motherboard dos thing is for the mbr stuff or the the grab thing okay so dos is what i want to choose now we have to choose this all right so this only happens if there's really nothing on it and this is a virtual box so it's really empty it's never been touched but if it's reused for windows or from mac or from linux it will probably already have something okay so there's an, a command later on in the text to delete it delete everything start with a clean slate it's called wipe fs and sg disk minus z to zap things okay we're off we have a free space we're scrolling down press enter well, how many do i have 20 gigabytes fine let's do something different than on the tutorial maybe also interesting to see that uh, things can be different why use a swap if we say well, let's not use a swap like um, on arclinus calamaris there's no use for a swap if you have lots of memories and you're never going to hibernate you just boot up and close down so free space new we are going to click here eric new space 20 gigabytes let me first have a look uh-huh see that uh, we don't do too much differences okay so on the video on the article we say two partitions one for swap and one for linux okay so we could say whatever the swap we're not going to use it and let's see i've never done it so i can learn as well so partition size back to this screen primary yes and then type is going to be linux that's okay and bootable i suppose i'll need to do that as well bootable and this has this asterisk up here there boot and then does that if i write it and i type yes then i can quit it and ask for this thing so we have just one thing let's see if a swap is necessary okay so sda1 no sda2 in the tutorial there is an sda2 swap file formatting the partitions make me a file system please with extension 4 x4 not extension but device sda1 okay click that's done formatting the swap partition and activating is skipped now mount the file system bias we're going to mount oops mount device sda1 inside a folder that's already there i hope yep like this we say mount but it is mnt and then we scroll down select the mirrors okay let's select the mirrors nano etc mirror list Oh, 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 forgot something. Like so. So, Hong Kong, mm, not close to me. Well, one hashtag is enough. United States, Belarus, South Africa, not helping. Croatia, not really. Poland, mm -hmm. Germany would be best. Control X, yes. So choose your closest mirror um, server, the server where everything is coming from. Then we're going to install the rest. Install the base and the base development. That's called backstrap. Get me the stuff that I need. You put it in the mount. So on the SSD, oops, base and base development. And now we see if we have a fast server and it's okay. Whoa, it's super okay. 
speed is okay. So that's what I always loved about Arch Linux super servers. By the way, if anybody knows how to make to ensure that the Arch Linux packages are gathered all over the world, just like Arch Linux does, would be nice to get an insight how to achieve this because we are paying actually now for our hosting of our packages. Maybe they are too, I don't know. We should just ask. I was just thinking. FSTAP BIOS is the next thing we need to do. Okay, so packstrap is done. We followed that. FSTAP BIOS. So generate me the file system minus u in this small little directory called mount and put everything in etc fs tab. This needs to be correct. So I'm gonna take my time to check if it's filled in. If it's not filled in, you won't boot. All right, good. What next? Then we're going to arch root. Remember the tip that I said? You can always arch root inside your broken system. This is basically what you do. You mount everything and then you, you go inside it. So now I am on my hard disk. So now you would be on your broken SSD or hard disk. And we continue. If you did something wrong, you do a sudo pacman R and reboot. We need to do the time zone, it seems now. Okay. I believe there was something. No, it's okay. Give me a link to my time zone. User share zone info Europe. Oops. Europe. Brussels. And then etc local time is the link. That's the link. I'm creating a file called local time and I'm pointing it to that particular place. And that's a go. Fine. Hardware clock needs to be set this to HC. That's done. Scrolling locale. Nano etc locale gen. Okay, let's have a look. Where is he? I speak Dutch. I know, but I never install in my own language. I always install in EN US UTF. Control X. Yes. Save. That's that. Then we're going to generate everything. Locale generated, please. And this one is generated. Good. Next thing seems to be nano etc locale conf. It's all empty and I'm gonna say that my language is the same as the one that we just had. So just type it over, make sure you write it down. ENUS, all capitals and all that is so critical. So I'm really checking myself all the time, left to right, left to right. Am I making any typos? Control X, yes, save. Another one I should make is nano etc vconsole.conf. Empty as is and filled it will be key map. That's not key map, key map equals PE Latin one. Control X, yes, please. Uh huh. Shorter alternative. I forgot about that can make the same commands shorter etc host name and then scroll down it's 
So Arch Linux has even there's also a shorter command here. So I've given my computer a name, right? Arch Linux. Now you have to keep the same name when you edit this guy. And a lot to type in here. And then tap localhost, localhost, go. And then that one, localhost, and that's wrong. Tap Arch Linux. Did I have to use a capital? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter. In Linux, everything matters. If it's capital or not, maybe not here. I'm not sure. Let's see if I do small. Yes. All right. Fun. gonna use the same name exactly the same name just to be safe all right network configuration all right so um, here we are a little bit different we want to end up with something that has internet right so I'm installing what I'm gonna use anyway so the network manager I do believe this differs from the guide on Arch Linux. And since this needs to be started, I need to enable it. So next time it is activated. Am I typing it wrong? No, I don't think so. Okay, enable. Okay, then I type it. Now this is important, capital N, capital M, and go. These are the lines you need to get. Created, created, no errors allowed. This needs to be there. Three lines. Fine. Symbolic links. Init RAM FS is out, not required according to the wiki. We say mm -hmm. root password. That's the last thing. We're almost at the end, I think. So this is the root password, root password, fine. And now the bootloader, we can't, if we shut down now, we will not have anything. There is nothing to boot up from. So grub needs to be there. And oops. <laughs> and with the installation of that, we get applications. And grub install is one of those applications. And it has a dash. Grub, install me grub somewhere, right? So on a device. And we have indeed the name SDA. If you have another name, use the other name. And then we're going to make the configuration file inside this particular folder and file. There you go. So he knows where everything is to boot from reboot he says that's our option which means i need to exit i need to you mount it all unmount it that's okay all the strange messages then we reboot your iso is still in there so you need to go to boot existing os so this is your grub, you just made it. Okay, Load, loading and we're back to the root because there's nobody more and there's no user any, and I think so. Just root, could ask for an LS or I don't know, for sudo. Not sudo is not required because we are root, right? And we have internet, network manager is working and that's it. Okay. Scrolling down, reboot after virtual box, next step. Now we're on, the, on this page. Next, I clicked on the next step underneath here. So we're in phase one, bias. And then it moves you to Arch Linux phase two or to this link, right? So 
moving along on that page. Okay, internet AOR helpers will do it later. Multilip, we can do it, it's not necessary. We can do it later when we have a graphical thing. So let's skip it here. Bash completion is so much fun. Pacman minus S. If you're typing and you don't know the command anymore, just type twice tap and then it completes your text. That's what I want to have. Bash completion, super. That's no luxury, that's just needed. Let's ask, let's um, add the user, user adds minus M minus G users minus G. What groups? And we have a, had an issue a few days back. So let's add that one as well. Network wheel, whoops, no spaces, wheel storage. We found out that we need to be part of RF kill for the Bluetooth to be able to switch on and off. So that's something new we just discovered a few weeks ago after updates. So why not just include it in here and later I should make a mental note to fix it also on the web page. So let's see typos not allowed. MG users big capital G audio video. There we go. Video. Okay. Network wheel storage and I've added RF kill. It's not yet on the page. Will be later on. Minus S. And that what kind of system do you want to work with? With bash ZSH. So it's a choice. And my name is Eric. So the username. That's it. Let's give the Eric a password. He has now a password and he needs to be able to run things to be able to run pseudo things. And that's in here. Page down, page down. And I think it's this one. Let me check. Wheel all all. So this guy, control X. Yes, safe. That's that. Then we log out, they say. Okay, so then we become Eric. And we do a pseudo Pacman. This time I have to be pseudo. And I can upload and download and do stuff. All right. Uh huh. I will log in with Eric and his password. Update. So we're back to here. So we've done this. Um, phase one. Oops, this one. So that's the last thing I did. Okay, one Y more wheel that's done so next step is phase three phase three is this guy moving that up here let's go graphical install xorg we don't see anything graphical yet so go back on minus s give me xorg give me the xorg server give me the xorg apps give me xorg x in it and a terminal if things go wrong i have at least a terminal and there we go up oh, enter 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 then we can scroll along graphics drivers we don't need it we're in virtual box that's these days the problem with uh, nvidia and all that people are really um in difficulty figuring out what it needs to be on arch Linux. i do hope that we get some kind of I don't know. Way to figure out automatically some kind of application that says, okay, you have this or that hardware, and there you go. Just say yes or no, and that would be so easy if somebody could make that. So we are in the light DM already. Pseudo Pacman minus S light DM. And now we can use our tap buttons since we have bash completion we are going to install the gtk greeter and we're going to install the settings manager for it as well why not and that's exactly what i've written on the page by the way i know this is arch linux video but we have our own arco linux 
uh, Lightium GTK Greeter. So a nicer one than this one. And also an Arclonics Lightium GTK Greeter settings. So it's not gonna be the same. But we're going for a vanilla installation, so we're gonna use these. And don't forget to enable this. If, you, if LightDM is not enabled, nothing graphical will happen. So check out if it says created symlink, because it needs it. And then it's in, in capital letters, do not reboot until you have a desktop environment. Do not do forget to enable LightDM. So things I've forgotten in the past are now well uh, in capital letters here. I'm thinking what to install. There are 13 choices. XFC is the one I always go to. Um, Openbox, Mate, I3, Gnome. Why not Gnome? Why Budgie? Deeping? Why not Peak Deeping? So it's a just choose. So I'm looking at this here, guys. Choose whatever you want, right? Um, note, note. I need to add Q tile. Q tile is forgotten here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Yes, we have 13 desktops. So Qtile is in there, but it's not in here yet. So I need to make that as well as change. Two changes later on, good. Good that the video is created. So um, I was thinking about deeping. Why not deeping? So showing up installation of deeping so this is what you get well it's an old image in the meantime it has changed but it's so easy it's all it takes to have a completely installed system isn't that wonderful and then of course you can go on and have a look at what we do with Arc Linux, Arc Linux D but let's first do a vanilla and vanilla means just two things deeping deeping extra so sudo pacman minus s Deepin and deepin extra. Bunch of stuff comes in. So enter, enter, enter. 526 megabytes, one gig extracted. And we have a complete system that's gonna be looking awesome. Simple as that. More and more I have the feeling that this is just a playground for people like Lego was in our young age. You have blocks elements choose the elements choose the blocks and then the fun starts the configuration put everything you configure yourself online on github so your dot files as they say configuration for termite configuration for this for that and all the files are often in the dot config put them away for later after a clean installation you can get them back and tweak them again that's how it goes change it again any way you see fit because your taste will be different in two years time but anyway you have some some kind of back off check to to see how did i do it last time all right one of 18 almost done just scrolling over on the page here on deeping there are two videos to check out What I can do, they are referring here to Arclinux D, right? What's important for you people that are going to phase five and going to Arch Linux and had somebody just the other week, that is that if you they want to if you want to import stuff from Arch Linux, then you need to become part again of the family of Arch Linux. And that's this thing, Archway. So you need to run these scripts, every one of them need to run them well not maybe not every one of them check out the code see what's inside this one i need to run because of my situation here in belgium that one everybody needs to run this one you need to run if you want to install the repo for mac linux so install stuff on mac linux and what was this one it's also uh, ah yeah that's the um, in the bash rc we have commands aliases and it uses applications if you don't install the implications, you're never gonna run the commands, the aliases. And this is the auto login group to be able to auto login if you want to auto login. 
So everything is there, it's available, it's there. You need to run it if you are on Arch Linux and want to get, we, we call that spice up Arch Linux. So get the spices from Arch Linux on a vanilla installation of Arch. Everything is installed, let's reboot. Let's have um, hopefully a graphical greeting screen. So maybe we, let's do a power off. Let's get rid of this optical drive here and do it as if we have a real machine. You power up, you see grub, you see this, and then you say, greet me, teeping, greet me. Remember, for me, the only thing I wanted to check out is, uh, or what's new for me, is the fact that I didn't use a swap. Remember, that's the only thing that's different from the tutorial. Effect mode is nice. So, friendly reminder, fine, um, normal mode till you choose. But on a real machine, it's gonna be effect mode on, I believe. And as you see, the whale is gone now. Now we have this little bird as wallpaper, and that's all right for us. It's all good. So this is your out of the box look from Deeping, which is of course awesome, let's be honest. And it doesn't cost us any dime, any money, and it is all here. Everything is available. You choose whatever you want to have. All the elements are in here nicely put together in your system. And we have an overview here. We have also the menu that can be changed. Mode, efficient mode, which is more normal for people. So, okay, I like it more like this. But it's also possible to do this guy. And it's even more normal. And so lots of things can change. Lots of things can be added and it's actually this is actually a clean installation of Arch Linux no Arch Linux yet involved and um, I want to round off here gonna change two things RF kill is there and a Qtile link on the page and then we're good to go so Arch Linux still works the guide still works we just used one without um, G part that is of course not installed. Let's end with that. So Ctrl Alt is what I did. Pseudo Pacman. Whoops. So we definitely need to set our um, keyboard. Let's include that as well in the tutorial. Let's set our keyboard. Settings is here now. Um, keyboard language. We always need to set that in the systems. Depends. And it, it differs on every desktop where to do it. So I'm gonna click here. Okay, that's Belgium now. Control T. And I have my Azerti. Pseudo. Oh, come on. Pacman minus S. G part just to show you the look of the hard disk. So no um, swap involved. That's maybe why it might be lagging. I don't know. It's, uh, of course, not the intention to stay on a virtual box. It's just some fun, some learning, but put it on a real machine, real metal. That's my password. Show me, show you, come on. And there we have it. So just one thing, SDA, mount point, and um, no swap whatsoever in the neighborhood. Specific look, these fonts, nice. All right, that's it for me. Enjoy installing Arch Linux and have fun.